Hey everyone, my name is Raphael and I'm the developer of MeshBrush, a Unity Asset Store plugin software for painting meshes inside scenes and at runtime. Today I'll be showing you all there is to know about my newest creation, XML Safe Save. XML Safe Save is a new asset that I am proud to announce with this video. I submitted the package for approval on the Unity Asset Store just like 10 minutes ago. So let's dive in without further ado. XML Safe Save is a simple to use and an efficient XML data storage library for Unity. It ships in a DLL and offers detailed comments inside IntelliSense thanks to Visual Studio's XML comments. It also comes with a tutorial PDF with a simple step-by-step -step instruction on how to save and load data. But it really is not that many steps we're talking about it. Um, well, you'll find out soon. Then there are two example scripts that show how to create the XML data storage instance and well, save, encrypt, load and decrypt data with it basically. So now let's open up Visual Studio and take a look at one of these example scripts. And before I start explaining how this works, I would really like to put some facts on the table. And by that I mean that no matter how hard you try to protect your data, you can't. <laughs> you simply cannot really protect your data. You have to realize that without the effort of using a server, a symmetrical encryption algorithm and a crap load of precious resources wasted, you will not be able to protect your data against a medium to highly skilled hacker. Furthermore, you must understand that there are well many other alternative ways of cheating in a video game besides modifying the standard save game files whatsoever. <laughs> now, for multiplayer games, I would highly recommend looking into more serious asymmetrical cloud-based encryption systems. But even there, don't try the and do your next revolutionary, ultimative, super safe setup. Just use the industry standard solutions out there. And, I mean, they have been proven themselves as good enough. For a single player game though, I tried to find a good balance between how, f how, re how safe the data really is and how fast the code runs, since performance does matter. To a lot of people it doesn't, but to me it does. And I also gave my best at trying to make the library API as easy and accessible to use as possible. There are no weird components, mono behaviors, custom editors or tedious interfaces. It's really just plain efficient code accessible from well basically anywhere inside your code. So with this said, here's how to save and load data with XML save save. Inside the script in your project where you would want to save or load data to or from an XML file created by XML Save Save, you have to declare an XML data storage variable. This will give access to the save and load functions. Then you initialize it inside start, and not for each time you save, as that would be a waste of performance. One reason for that is because the XML serializer used by the software is created inside the class constructor of XML data storage. You just do it inside start and you're gonna be alright, and you can reuse it and recycle it from there. Now from here, the only thing you still need to do is to have a ready to use data holder class that you want to save to an XML file containing all the variables and collections you want to store. Note that only public variables inside the data class will be serialized. Also note that the class has to have the system.serializable attribute in order to be saved. To save the data, create an instance of the data class in case you don't already have one ready. And call the save method on the XML data storage you initialized earlier. As parameters, you feed in the instance of the data holder class, the file path where you want your XML file to be stored, and 
Well, inside this path you must include the file extension at the end here. Also make sure that the path is valid, or the procedure will fail. And the last parameter is a boolean that controls whether or not you want your file to be encrypted. Set this to true and the file will get encrypted. And the key for the decryption is not stored inside the source code or assembly, so that gives it a little bit more protection. Note that if you want to load this again, you will then have to set the last parameter of the load function to true as well. So loading is quite simple too. Just create an instance of the data class you saved inside the XML file and initialize it by deserializing the data from the data storage via the load method. The parameters are the, the file path of the XML file and again don't forget the file extension and the boolean whether or not the file has to be decrypted or is in standard human readable XML. If you have messed with the file or its data you will get a deserialization error and not be able to load the data. So this is um, I think everything you need to know on how to use this small tool I hope you enjoyed this video and XML safe save should be available on the asset store in case of a positive approval somewhere around next week for a few bucks. XML safe save is fast, it's simple and it's efficient. Have a great time and thanks for watching. Cheers!